What's going on? Joey here, and it's that time of year where we start getting that dreaded question. Hey, Joey, when does the boardwalk close for the season? And I call this a dreaded question because we have so much fun with you guys throughout the entire summer. I mean, honestly, we've hung out with you guys on the beach and the boardwalk. We've done the rides together. And so I always hate this question, but it is a valid question. So today we're going to answer it for you guys. It's not a simple answer. I'll tell you that right now because it changes from year to year and it depends on many different things. So we're going to talk about it before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications and you give this video a thumbs up. And before we get started, we have new shirts with new designs. This one has two designs on it. This one on the front and then this one on the back. You can also get that design only on the front too. So you can click a link in the description to grab those t-shirts. Now to answer the question, when does the Wildwood Boardwalk close? Well, the physical, physical Wildwood Boardwalk never closes. It is open year round. So if you want to come down here in the fall to go for a run, a jog, a bike ride, hopscotch, whatever it is, it is open year round. One of our favorite things to do is to come up on the boardwalk when it's snowing. It is extremely, extremely magical. Now down to when do the shops, arcades, and restaurants on the boardwalk close? It's kind of a hard question because every single establishment up here is owned and operated individually. So they can open and close whenever they want. There's nothing posted online. There's nothing Thing that really gives you any indication if they're open or not. For the most part, a lot of these businesses follow the Maury's Piers schedule. So Maury's Piers schedule is different every single year and this year is no different. <laughs> Maury's Surfside Pier is actually closing well, the, today of our filming, it's September 5th. Today's its last day. Then Adventure Pier all the way down on Spencer Avenue, they close Labor Day Monday, September 6th. And then Maury's Mariner's Pier, the middle pier, they close on October 10th. So there'll be weekends starting next weekend. Now, why is this important? Well, for the most part, these businesses on the boardwalk like to operate when Morning's Piers is operating. So let's say if Surfside Pier closes, the places over here will start to close because most of the traffic is drawn to what piers are open. Now this year, once again, because this is the earliest this pier would close, we really don't know which businesses will be open and which ones will be closed. Now keep in mind, we are a year round town. I mean, we have so many activities throughout the year. We've had so many Christmas events. We have Oktoberfest at Maurice Piers. There's a massive Irish festival in October. So we do hope we see you guys down here throughout the entire year. Let me tell you, come down when it snows. It really is magical. Of course, we'll be filming videos for you guys throughout the entire year. And I wanna thank you guys for joining Joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section below. I'll go ahead and answer them when I can. I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. Stay safe, everyone. See you later. Bye.